In Numbers 34, the Lord is defining the promised land to the children of Israel through Moses. It's the land of their inheritance, the land God had promised them. Beginning in verse 1, Then the Lord said to Moses, Give these instructions to the Israelites. When you come into the land of Canaan, which I am giving you as your special possession, these will be the boundaries. And then the Lord lays out the margins of the promised land in great detail. And in verse 13, we're told how the land will be divided. Then Moses told the Israelites, This is the territory, the homeland, you are to divide among yourselves by sacred lot. The Lord has commanded that the land be divided among the nine and a half remaining tribes. The families of the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have already received their grants of land on the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho toward the sunrise. So just as land transactions are recorded by our county government today, This land transaction between God and His chosen people is recorded in Scripture for all eternity. But here's something interesting. God's people never really enjoyed all the land God intended. God clearly planned for them to have it. They seemed to want the land, but they never fully possessed it. What happened? One word, compromise. They chose their way instead of God's way when it came to dealing with the people in the land. One thing we can learn from today's Bible reading is that we don't want to miss anything that God has for us because it's all very significant from His perspective. So let you and I purpose this day to live our lives in submission to God's plan and to watch out for the enemy's plan. He wants to compromise us and rip us off.